Today I thought we can try to prompt GPT-4 Vision to detect AI images or other fake images. So we're gonna feed in some of the images you can see behind me here. That is AI generated, some are faked with Photoshop. We also need to feed in some real images to see if we get some false positives. Uh, but anyway, let's just get started. The first thing I wanted to do was set a system prompt for this. So I just went, you are a professional image forensic analysis. Your task is to identify manipulated or fabricated images. That's all I came up with. The user will upload an image, be very detail oriented and critical. And we have some assignments. So explain the image in detail. So I found this list uh, on GPT-4. Uh, what kind of techniques you can use to identify manipulated or fabricated images. Images, right? So we have artifacts, details, pixel analysis, noise distribution, light and shadow, clone stamps, geometric analysis, chroma, grail, scale, there's a whole list. And with the image in mind, go through each step of the list while analyzing in a step-by-step -step way. And I also wanted to include your common sense and reasoning and give your opinion on the image. Critique and reevaluate the image, come to a final conclusion on the image and give the image a probability that it's fake from 0 to 100. That is basically the system prompt we set. Now let's start spinning out some images and see if we can detect something. So all we have to do now is just upload an image. So we're going to take this fake image here I created with Stable Diffusion you can see here uh, with uh, Taylor Swift. So just upload like this generic image I found and it created these images. So these are quite similar, right? But then I just added some kind of tattoos here. Of course, these are fake. <laughs> uh, so let's see if GPT-4 Vision can notice this. Okay, so I went through this three times. You can see it kind of went through all the steps we put in our list here. So artifacts, details, and it can't really find anything in the image that stands out. Uh, it talks a lot about the tattoos though. And it notices that, I think. Uh, but other than that, uh, the tattoos are primarily detail that stands out. They are pretty clear and consistent with the surrounding skin tone. So it doesn't really look very strange at that part. But if we look at use your common sense and reasoning, given around, especially around the tattoos, there's a potential that the tattoos can be an addition. It's a common area of manipulation in photos. The lighting and shadow appears natural, but the clarity and position makes them worth scrutinizing. So it gives the probability the image is fake 65%. So that's not great, right? So I did it a few more times. So here we got 40%. And here we got 65 again. So mm, doesn't look too good. Uh, but anyway, let's move on and try some other images. Okay, so here's an other image I created with Stable Diffusion. I gotta say, I would be very disappointed if this doesn't get uh, caught as fake or AI generated. So we just fix the cat's face here and stuff. So let's run it and see if it can detect this weird image of uh, Mr. Donald Trump. Okay, so this is looking better. So you can see we explain the image. And artifacts, uh, there seems to be some inconsistencies in the quality and clarity between the man's face and the rest of the image, okay. Uh, upon closer inspection, the edges of the cat, especially around his ears and tail, seems to be clearer than expected, suggesting a potential overlay or insertion. Okay, that's good. Uh, the pixels have different characteristics than pixels in the background or on the man. So this looks better, I think. The man suit and cat have variable levels of noise. Okay, that's good. The lightning on the cat and man seems to be coming from different directions. So everything here seems like it's gonna uh, conclude this as fake. So it appears the cat might have to be digitally added or superimposed onto the image. Hmm. Okay. Probability it's fake, 90%. Okay, that's good. So the conclusion is like... The various inconsistencies and differences in quality and lighting within the cat and the man. I conclude this image has been manipulated. Alright, that's good at least. Uh, because that was kind of a bad image, right? I guess the face is good, but the cat, uh, it looks a bit strange. So, okay. We might be onto something. Uh, but let's give it a real image now and if uh, we can get like a false positive. Okay, so let's just take this image from Pope Francis, since we're gonna test out that famous AI image of him. So let's see if we can get a false positive here on the Pope. 
Okay, this seems promising because the final conclusion is that the image appears genuine and there's no glaring evidence of suggestion manipulation given the analysis. Probability that the image is fake, 5%. Minimal chance that someone's sophisticated editing tool was left, uh, okay. But largely appears to be authentic. Alright, that's good at least, because this is authentic. And everything on the list here seems to look at that this is a real image. Uh, I think we're now gonna take that famous Pope uh, puff jacket image and see if it can detect anything weird on that. So this is the image like that was all over the news, right? It's very cool. But I can see like if we look closely at it, it has some strange things like the hands here and that cross and stuff. Uh, so let's try to see here what we, what kind of result we can get. Okay, so let's go through this. So if we look at the list here, it doesn't find anything that's strange. That kind of means that the image is overall good quality, I think. Like there's no artifacts, there's no weird details, no weird pixels. If we look at the common sense and the reasoning part, that is seems to be quite important. So the juxtaposition of the formal clerical at here with exaggerated, inflated white jacket is unusual and not commonly seen in public figures or religious leaders, raising suspicion about the authenticity of the image. So considering the usual nature of the attire, there's a relatively high chance of manipulation. So it gives it like an 80% chance to be fake. Uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of on the human level because I think a lot of people was fooled by this image like going back a few months So that was pretty cool So at least they kind of noticed that but like it was only like the common sense and reasoning part that kind of put the image like under scrutiny here. So, so that was very interesting hmm. uh, But anyway, let's do a few more and let's wrap this up Let's try to upload two images. So this is what I generated with Stable Diffusion. So this is like an alternate version of this image. So this was the Lamborghini. So we kind of turn it into this kind of off-road type of car, I guess. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. Uh, but it looks fake too, I think. Uh, but let's see what GPT-4 Vision says about these images. So it doesn't detect anything. So it gives you like a... 10% chance of being fake. No immediate signs of manipulation. I guess I kind of can't see that because it's... It looks like a car. There's nothing weird about it other than... You kind of have to know like... Lamborghini and kind of the history. So I was hoping you could pick up something about that. Okay, so this was interesting. Uh, so remember, this is image 1, right? And this is image 2. Okay. So if you look at the image 2, again, it knows it's a Lamborghini convertible. Nothing strange here, but the big part here is that the real image is rated higher on being fake than the fake image. So that's not great, but I can kind of see it like it looks like a car. There's nothing that stands out other than... If you know that Lamborghini doesn't really make these kind of cars. Kind of this light here is a bit strange, that's all. Uh, but uh, not great. Uh, but let's do a few more and see where this lands. Okay, so this is kind of the UFO photo that was kind of going around a few months back, I guess, er earlier this year. That came out from, maybe it was last year too, from Pentagon. So let's see, I think this is real. So let's run it. So, if we see at the detail here, it appears to be a grainy monochromatic capture of what looks like some form of instrumentation or surveillance screen. It has some numbers, in the center is a target-like overlay with two arrows pointing towards a dark, irre irregularly shaped object. So that is kind of like this thing here, which stands out against the lighter background. And we have some minus two degrees labels. Uh, if you look at all the artifacts, details, pixels, there's nothing weird there. It says, and common sense, given the image nature, looks like capture for some monitoring equipment, possibly related to aviation or marine activities. Yeah, that's good, because we know these are from the, the Navy, I think. Given the minus two degrees label, the dark object is intriguing, but without context, it's challenging to ascertain its nature. Uh, the graininess might be inherited to device capturing the image rather than a sign of manipulation. So, after reviewing this, it gives it a 20% chance of being fake. That's an 80% chance of being authentic. Okay. Uh, so, 
this is authentic according to GPT for vision. Uh, let's do one more before we wrap it up. This was another image that kind of caught the news. Uh, I guess it was uh, yeah, a month back now. So this was kind of like this fire at the Pentagon. When I look at this image, I think mm, that looks suspicious, right? It's not very clear. It's weird with these barricades here and stuff. But yeah, let's run it through and see what we get here. Okay, so if we go through this, so uh, yeah, it's an image large building with architectural style, remissal government, yeah, because it's the Pentagon. There's a massive cloud of smoke, yeah, I guess so. If we go through the list here, again, there's nothing weird here, everything looks okay. I think there was something about the, the smoke, however, doesn't seem to cast a significant shadow on the nearby structures. So that was a bit off, I guess, but other than that, didn't say anything. So, if you use common sense, the severity and density of the smoke suggest a significant event. However, considering the proximity to the building and the lack of visible impact or damage to its structure, there's some bad doubt about the authenticity of the image. So, after considering all factors, no direct signs of manipulation through common tools, the overall setting and juxtaposition of elements give reason to be suspicious. I assign a probability of 70% that the image has been manipulated or fabricated. So yeah, that's not very assuring. I was hoping this were more like in the 90s range. But I guess it's better. So like, if you get 70%, you can think like, yeah, that's probably fake. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay, I wanted to do one more thing. I like to compare two images. And see if we can get something if we do that. So let's go back to this Taylor Swift image here and do upload the real image we used, compare it to this image and give a new conclusion. So what it did here is just went through all of the same list, but it kind of changed up something at the end here. So final conclusion on the image after comparison. The absence of tattoos on this image compared to the previous one incurred that the first image has been manipulated to add the tattoos. Re-evaluated probability that first image is fake, 90%. Okay, so that works, but it's kind of obvious with tattoos because it says given that tattoos are permanent and can't simply disappear, it becomes evident that one of these images has been manipulated. So that was at least good, I guess. Uh, but I think that's gonna be it. Uh, I found this very interesting, so to wrap it up, mm, it doesn't work perfect, but I think, like, personally, that we have to use we probably have to use AI to detect AI images going forward because it's gonna be hard to notice for like a human. Uh, even this image kind of looks real, right? I know there's something with the mouth and stuff that's a bit strange, but going forward with the m amount of fake images that's probably gonna be even gonna get videos, right? So I think we have to use some kind of AI tool to detect images, because I think that could work, like text is not gonna work, but I think detecting images, deepfakes and stuff, is probably has a better chance of working using artificial intelligence technology to do that. Uh, but yeah, I found this funny, uh, I think it works somewhat, but you can't trust it. Uh, but that's, yeah, give me your thoughts in the comments, could this work? Uh, but anyway, thank you for tuning in, had a lot of fun with this, and I'll see you in the next one.